Hi folks, it's James JT at the movies, back with you to do another video and I'm giving you another sneak peek of the movie cave, aren't I? Uh, tut, tut, tut. But that's not what we're here to do today. We're actually here to do uh, a video trend that my friend Sammy G introduced me to, but I think it was originated by Blue Roy and then I think Stuart George has also done one as well. And it is 10 films in your collection that you're ashamed to say you've not actually seen. So the first one that I'm going to show you is AI, Artificial Intelligence. I'm not going to get them all the way off the shelf because it'll be a pain in the bum. But I've never seen that film before and I know that it was sort of Kubrick's last project and that he handed it over to Spielberg before he died. And I think it's sort of regarded as, as a, you know, a, a sort of a pretty big deal in sort of 90s cinema. But it's, it's a film that I've never seen. I've had the DVD there for years and just haven't got around to watching it. The same can be said for this one down here. Saturday Night Fever. So I adore the soundtrack of that movie and I'm a huge Bee Gees fan. Absolutely massive Bee Gees fan, uh, which might surprise and shock you, it might not. Um, but I've never sat down and watched the film. So again, that's that's a version of the film that I've had for years and I keep meaning to and I just haven't got round to it. And here's one that I'm really ashamed to say that I've not seen. The original 1954 Godzilla. And yeah, um, it obviously spawned a massive mammoth franchise, hasn't it? And I've seen so many of the modern ones and, and enjoyed them that I'm really ashamed to say I've just not sat down and watched the original. And then we come over here, the last one to show you in the DVDs at least. And it is Evil Dead 2. It is the only one in the franchise that I've not seen. I've seen the original. I've seen Army of Darkness. Um, I've seen the director's cut of Army of Darkness. I've seen the remake, Reimagining, which I really didn't care for. And I've seen Evil Dead Rise, which I thought was perfect. But I've just not sat down and watched Evil Dead 2. Which brings me then over to the Blu-rays. And I guess I've had a failure to communicate with my uh, my DVD collection and my Blu-ray collection because I've never sat down and watched Cool Hand Luke. I know this film's a classic. I know that it's absolute sacrilege that I've not watched it, but there we are. And the same can be said for this next one here, which is Lawrence of Arabia. And it's a classic. I just haven't got round to watching it. Gravity. That's the next one. I adore Sandra Bullock. I've actually got a really massive crush on Sandra Bullock, so I'm really surprised that I haven't sat down and watched this one sooner. I'm also a massive sci-fi nut, so you'd think that I'd want to watch it. And this is a film I'm quite ashamed to say that I've not seen before either. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You'll have to forgive the bin down there, guys. Sorry. Um, Jack Nicholson's in there. Danny DeVito, Christopher Lloyd. Um, Michael Douglas produced it. You know, it, it's just a, a veritable who's who. Um, but I've just not got round to watching it yet. So, the next one to show you, number eight. I'm rattling through these. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. I've actually never seen The Two Towers either. I've only ever seen Fellowship of the Ring. And I enjoyed it, but I've not been in a mad rush to watch them. But I know it's absolute sort of sacrilege, isn't it? Because the sort of films that any film fan should have seen, you know, at least one sort of thing. And I keep meaning to put a day aside and just do the trilogy. But I, uh, I just haven't got round to it yet. And then last, but by no means least, and this is probably the one I'll get the most flack for, I think, is Scarface. I can't believe I've never seen it. I've seen bits of it. I know what's you know what's going on in the in the plot. I know you know all the sort of the story beats and all the the memes and the quotable bits and whatever else. But yeah, I've just never actually sat down and watched it through. So there we are, folks. That's ten films from my collection that I'm ashamed to say that I've never seen. And I'll be honest, I'll give you a a quick sneak peek. There's dozens more. There's absolutely dozens more. I could do a whole video essay on the amount of stuff in here that I should have seen that I haven't. But there we are. Thanks very much for watching, folks. How ashamed should I be? You'll have to let me know down below in the comments and give the video that all-important thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing. It means the world to me and, of course, helps my channel to grow. It means that we get to know each other over future videos as well. And above all else, folks, take care of yourselves and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.